Hello, general chemistry two students. I wanted to make a quick video talking about Boltzmann distributions for you. I'm assuming that you have studied microstates and the Boltzmann equation prior to looking at this video. So either reading lecture notes and taking some notes from those, reading the textbook and taking notes from that, or possibly watching my videos and taking notes from that. So you know what a microstate is, you know how it relates to entropy. Also, I'm expecting you know how to do the method of initial rates calculations. And so you have some background in thinking about kinetics before you watch this video. If not, pause this and come back, okay? So when we're talking about atoms, with varying temperatures. So in our, our laboratory experiment for kinetics, table three varied the temperature anywhere between about 10 degrees Celsius up to 40 Celsius. So that's a pretty big range. Um, one of the things we can kind of think about is the relative speed of the particles at those different temperatures. Um, the best way to think about this is to visualize um, using a graph. So we're going to create one that's called a Boltzmann distribution. All right, so in a Boltzmann distribution, our graph is going to compare the population of atoms or the probability of atoms, we could even think of it, being in a particular speed. And so speed is the comparison on this axis. And that could be measured in a variety of different units. Meters per second is pretty common. For our purposes, we didn't measure the speed of the atoms, but um, remember that increasing temperature increases the speed of an atom, which is why it usually will increase the rate, unless of course the reaction is zero order for that chemical. But if things are moving faster, they will collide more often. And so if it's bigger than zero order, increasing temperature has an impact. Um, so if we think about atoms that are cold, which I'm gonna draw here as a blue line, they generally move slower. So you're gonna have a higher probability of a lower speed. So in other words, our uh, peak on this curve occurs at a relatively low speed. So the average kinetic energy is pretty low if you have cool molecules. Say, for example, our maybe our 10 degrees Celsius measurement. Oh, that looks like a negative sign. I'll take that out. Right, about 10 degrees. We didn't go to negative 10, just 10. On the other hand, if we thought about, say, our 40 degrees Celsius sample, what's going to happen is the number of particles stays the same, right? We're not changing um, amounts of anything. But what changes is the fact that more of them, on average, will be moving faster. So our probability sort of squishes down a little bit. Because when you increase temperature, you actually end up with a wider variety of microstates. You have more choices for what energy level particles can have when you increase the temperature. So it looks like the number of particles has decreased here because the, the height of the peak has decreased, but that's not the case. What is happening is the same number of particles are distributing a, among more speed options, okay? However, we can see that the average, um, kinetic energy, the average speed here, increased when we have a hotter material, okay? And so your job is to sketch something like this. You might consider adding all the actual temperatures that we measured in and just, you're not actually calculating anything, but you can sketch what a Boltzmann distribution might look like for the four measurements we did at a variety of temperatures. The main idea being that as you increase the temperature, the probability of an atom in a particular state goes down, but the number of options for your speed increases. And so overall, speed increases for most particles. Not all of them, right? You still have some in this region, 
that are slow, okay? Whether the liquid is hot or cold, there's always gonna be some proportion of particles that are slower. But we have a much bigger proportion of particles that are faster, okay? And that's what a Boltzmann distribution communicates. 